Hello, welcome back guys, I'm EVM and today I want to talk, funnily enough, about these electric cars and these, the brakes on them because there's a lot of people out there, way more than there should ever be that are having to replace those brakes, those discs and pads way sooner than is necessary it's not just a waste of resources, it's a waste of your money Now before I tell you why and how to combat this issue, because it's simple maintenance, I mean we're talking maintenance that won't really take any time out of your day, you don't even have to get your hands dirty, and it's very easy to do. But before that, I feel I need to apologise for subjecting you to, uh, well this, the thing that keeps the channel going. Now the reason for that little bit of a warning is because... This video is brought to you by Manscaped.com, the global men's lifestyle brand that's disrupting the men's grooming market. And their performance package 4.0 is a game changer when it comes to creating the ultimate men's grooming and hygiene bundle. This does actually look quite cool. Their fourth generation electric trimmer features a cutting edge ceramic blade designed to reduce grooming accidents and has a 4000K LED spotlight because this trimmer is waterproof, you can trim in the shower and finally say goodbye to the mess on the bathroom floor. The Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer also features a smart cordless charging system up to 90 minutes of use on a full charge. It also includes the new Weed Whacker 2.0 nose and ear hair trimmer. Cordless, rechargeable and has a battery with up to 45 minutes of runtime and is created with proprietary technology which helps reduce nicks, snags and tugs in those delicate nose holes. The Crop Reserver Ball Deodorant and the Crop Reviver Ball Toner Spray. Simply apply the Crop Reserver after your shower for an all day body odour protection. The Crop Reviver is a convenient spritz with cooling aloe vera. Two free gifts in their Performance Package 4.0 the Manscaped Anti Chafing Boxes and the Shed Travel Bag. Go to manscaped.com today and get 20% off plus free international shipping when you use promo code EVM. That's 20% off plus free international shipping with the promo code EVM at manscaped.com. Uh, what can I say? It's a necessary evil sometimes, but thanks to them for helping me out. Now, electric cars and brakes. Why is this a problem? Well, as anybody, and this is nothing new, it's been going on for decades, as anybody will know, if you've had an old car or a car that's just sat around for weeks or months on end, if you don't use something, it tends to not do it any favours. And with brakes, they generally corrode, and then it gets to the point where that corrosion gets too far and you need to replace the whole thing, the brake disc for example, maybe the pads as well, just because of the corrosion, not because they've been used, not because of the wear and tear. Now a traditional petrol or diesel car with no regenerative braking at all uses friction brakes which they all have these do as well and that is where with discs and pads at least a disc will get pushed against the pad or rather a pad will get pushed against the disc and that friction will turn the kinetic energy into heat and you slow down so a pad will be pushed against something like a bicycle we all typically know how they operate and it slows you down but with an EV and a hybrid the regenerative braking is both a blessing and a curse. A blessing because it's a lot more efficient. It's like somebody trickling petrol into your petrol tank every time you press the brake pedal. That would be a good thing. And with an EV, that happens every time you slow down. So instead of using the friction brakes, which it does if you brake hard enough, but instead of that, it first uses the regenerative action. Think of it like the wind turbine spins its blades and that motor if you will that generator generates electricity when you press the brake pedal on your car the wheels are spinning and then it uses that regenerative braking to slow the car down very much like a wind turbine and it turns it into electricity which of course with an ev is its fuel source so it makes things more efficient so that's a good thing but again that's the blessing the curse is the fact that you can if you're careful enough especially in some evs that have one pedal driving drive for well weeks on end potentially certainly many many miles and it doesn't use the friction brakes so although the car's been used on a maybe near daily basis the brakes it's almost like the car's been sat around for weeks or months they're just not being used at all that leads to the corrosion that leads to the replacement the seizing of 
calipers, take your pick, ultimately it needs maintenance. Something that you don't have on a petrol diesel car, but ultimately you do on one of these. Now again, very simple maintenance, and for me, there are two ways around this, both very easy, one I'm in favor of, one not so much, and well, this is them. So let me start off with my preferred method, the thing that I've essentially used for the last eight years of driving EVs. And it's, again, pretty straightforward. Right now, I'm on a dual carriageway. So I guess to an extent, this does depend on where you drive and where you live, what roads are around in your area. But for me, there's plenty of opportunity when I'm doing 20, 25,000 miles a year to do what I'm about to show you. So right now, dual carriageway, 70 miles per hour, and I'm just going to essentially brake hard when I get to the end of the dual carriageway. So I'm about to come up to a roundabout in about three quarters of a mile, and I'm just gonna brake harder. Of course, I'm checking to make sure there's no one behind me, and at the moment, there literally is nobody behind me, there's no one on the road. So I'm not endangering anyone, of course you have to make sure you're in a safe place to do it. And in a second, so I'm just gonna brake hard, and that definitely ensures that both the front and the back get used because sometimes the back doesn't get used unless you actually put some effort into braking. You actually lightly press on it. And that's essentially all I do once or twice a, a week. You could do it on other roads. You don't necessarily have to do it on a, a dual carriageway or maybe coming off a motorway. And of course, don't just randomly stop in the middle of the highway. That would be silly. So be sensible and find somewhere to do it and then just stamp on your brakes. Not emergency braking, I should point out. <laughs> You don't want to literally come to a screeching halt. Just brake harder than you traditionally would. Now, because of where I live, North Yorkshire, I do have another sort of option, which will mean I can use my brakes effectively with just a bit of exuberant driving. Now, obviously it depends on where you live as to what options you have, but living in North Yorkshire, I could go the way you've just seen, which during rush hour is slower, but it is the main roadway, or I could do what I would call go over the tops. The twist in narrow country roads, which means that you could easily use your brakes without being silly. They're all de-restricted, so for those that are outside of the UK, and that means I can do, legally at least, up to 60 miles per hour, but due to the nature of the roads, I can go quick, and then there's too many twisty corners, which means some heavy braking, get around the corner, and, well, you get my point. I'm just having a little bit of safe fun and using my friction brakes at the same time. So that's another option, I guess. For me, it's a flimsy excuse to, uh, to uh, see what the car can do, I guess would be the safest way of putting it. <laughs> now, this is the option that I'm not in favour of, because although it's not illegal, I have checked, it isn't recommended because you're not technically in control of your car, and it essentially means putting your car into neutral which even the car doesn't want. Now that has disengaged the motor, so I'm just free rolling essentially, which is why I'm not fully in control of my car. But it does mean that when I press the brake pedal, the regen is also off, it's disengaged. So every time I brake now, it is using the friction brakes. I can't not use the friction brakes because again, the motor's disengaged, the regen doesn't exist. So that is one way of, I guess, more gently cleaning your brakes. Again, this is something I wouldn't recommend. It's not something I personally do, but it is up to you. The reason I'm mentioning it is because this is the method that I was told by a Tesla Ranger a few years ago on how he recommended me to clean my brakes when I asked them that question. So again, I put this in neutral. Even the car doesn't want me to. There we go. And I'm cleaning my brakes right now. Now I should point out that some manufacturers are aware of this issue to the point where, for a while at least, some EVs actually clean their own brakes. They actually pinch the brakes every now and then for you as part of a, I guess, a maintenance cycle. You won't feel them braking, you won't feel it doing it or anything, but they're obviously aware that this could be something that people won't do or, it, you know, just the nature of a gentle driving means that you don't use your brakes often enough. So it can reduce their longevity and their effectiveness initially as well. Now, for me, that's still quite a rare thing. Not many do that, which is why even if my car did do that, whatever car you're driving, I would probably still do the, the braking option, the one that I do anyway. So it gives it a really good workout, if you will. So that's it, really. The whole point of this video is to basically say, if you've got an electric vehicle, use your brakes. However you want to use your brakes, that's up to you. 
but effectively you do need to use them now you might think well i'm already using them because i actually stop but a lot of that potentially all of that depending on your car could be the regenerative braking action so just brake harder than is probably comfortable for your passengers once twice a week that, that's the general rule of thumb that i use Right, I'm done. Thanks for watching. Uh, thank you to Manscaped for sponsoring the video. Here is the link at the bottom. Please do use that if you fancy uh, some testicle shaving. Um, and there we go. Let me know what you think. What do you do to clean your brakes? And is there any maintenance on an EV that you find is unique to an electric vehicle that you wouldn't ever normally do on a petrol car? Either way, thank you for watching. If you want to become a member, click the join button. If you want to subscribe, that will help the channel out as well. Click the subscribe button. Either way, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.